Hey guys, welcome back to the Second Time Lucky Mining channel. In today's quick video, we are going to have a look at the mining statistics and the changes in the mining statistics for the month of January 2023. Now, if you like the mining content, please like the video and maybe even consider subscribing to the channel. It'll help me out a great deal. But enough of shilling my channel, let's jump into the content. Now, can you believe it? The first month of the new year is already done and dusted. And as usual, I have a look at the mining statistics at the end of the month. And what we're going to be looking specifically for those of you that are new to the channel is the changes in statistics, right? So what I like to look at is, you know, what people have moved to. So um, what is now the popular coins and which took a hit and who is the biggest gainers or the most popular. And the same for GPU and mining software and little stuff like that. So that's what I tend to go and have a look at for the month of January. Now let's get the disclaimers out of the way. Now if you have watched these videos in the past, what I tend to go and have a look at is the HiveOS statistics, but more specifically the changes in the HiveOS statistics. Again, looking at the changes month on month. Now again, that is not perfect. And the big reason as to why is HiveOS is just one mining operating system that people use. I like it probably the most, but there are various other Linux mining operating systems that people are using, like uh, SMOS and some others, but also there is potentially still a lot of people that are using Windows to mine with something like NiceHash or whatever loading the miner directly. So there are more mining softwares and this statistic specifically will have a look at HiveOS. Now, again, as I mentioned, this is not perfect, but what I like to look at is not necessarily the numbers but the trends that I see in the numbers as I think the numbers would more or less or at least the trend would be the same regardless of the mining software and that's the big thing that I specifically look for when I look at these statistics. Now enough disclaimers and talking about it let's jump on the computer and I'll show you the statistics for the month of January. Okay, so here we are on the computer. Now, what I've done is I've opened the HiveOS statistics page and I'll leave a link in the video description in case you wanted to have a look and follow these things yourself. But starting off with the most popular coins, here you can see it's Ethereum Classic at 23%, followed by Casper at 11, then Ravencoin, and then the new kid on the block, Nexa here at seven, followed by Ergo, Raptorium and then BTC is more ASICs but then followed by Flux and Ethereum W. So you can see here what the most popular coins are. Now what I'm most interested in is I can see that Nexa is all of a sudden in the list here and what is that as expense of. Now for that I'm just going to go to my sheet and I'll leave a link again in the video description to my sheet but here as you can see I track it every single month so I've hidden a couple of columns here but Looking specifically for January here, you can see what's interesting, or at least what I find interesting, is Ethereum Classic has continued to trend downwards since the Ethereum merge here. So at one stage it was 32%, it's now at 23%. So it's lost a lot, and this month is no surprise, it's lost another 2%. Now the big change here, and you can see here I'm starting to track Nexa, or the new kid on the block is Nexa at 7%. And generally speaking, they took market share across the board a lot against a lot of the other coins. Now, the big dip here that we saw is Casper. So Casper is a bit of a, um, a roller coaster at the moment. So you can see here in October it was 5, then it was 18, then it was 16, and now it's 11. So Casper has been losing the last couple of months a little bit of support from miners. And I would imagine that's now... Uh, popularity and profitability that comes into play so the big um, losers at the end of the day at least in nexus favor is ethereum classic and then casper now the next thing that i wanted to have a look at is the gpu brand popularity and as you can see here from my tracker it's clear nvidia has been gaining market share on amd specifically in the mining space and that is not a surprise to me the nvidia cards are just more flexible at least in my opinion compared to amd um, it sucks i mean i love amd gpus i ov obviously have a bunch of nvidia ones as well um, i tend to have like a potentially like a 50 50 split or a 60 40 in favor of nvidia but generally speaking as you can see here nvidia is more favorable or at least more people are using nvidia gpus 
for mining as opposed to AMD ones. Talking of Nvidia GPUs, let's jump to the popular models. Now I'm just going to jump back to HiveOS and open it here. And as you can see here, the 3070 is still the most popular Nvidia GPU. Again, no surprise to me. It's a great GPU. I've got a couple. It's super efficient. It's flexible and it's not super expensive. So it's just an all around great GPU. That is followed by the 1660 Super, another stalwart in the mining space, followed by the 3060 Ti. As you can see here, there's still people mining with 2060 Supers and then 3080. So that is the most popular NVIDIA ones. Now, if I just jump back to my statistics here, what you'll see is I really didn't see any noticeable moves amongst GPUs. Um, there's also none of the new 40 series GPUs that are making it within this list, or at least what I can see where people are flocking to it. Now, that is, again is not a surprise as the new GPUs are, at least in my opinion, a little bit overpriced and definitely not worth it from a mining perspective. Jumping to Team Red, and let me just jump into HiveOS. As you can see here, the GOAT, the king of mining, the RX 580, is still the most popular AMD GPU at 27%, followed by the 570. And then we start seeing RDNA 1, which is RX uh, 5700 XT, which is at 10%, followed then by probably a list of the most efficient uh, RDNA 2 GPUs, so the RX 6600, the RX 6700 XT, and then the RX 6600 XT. And again, if I just look at the models, I really didn't see a massive trend necessarily on the AMD side. What I did see and what I did find interesting is that there was more 580s coming onto the network. So what we've seen in the past is a gradual trend downward. So you can see here, it used to be in the 30%, but it went down from 28 to 26 to 25, and now it's actually going back up to 26 again. So I suspect there's a lot of guys that were on the edge and they've now switched on or started mining again. Lastly, let's have a look at the mining software and I'm just going to jump back to HiveOS and scroll a little bit down here. And as you can see, the most popular mining software here is still LOL Miner, followed by Team Red Miner and then T-Rex Miner. Shortly after that, it is NB Miner and a bunch of other miners here. And you can see here, further down the list is Mini Z. Now, looking at the actual changes within the month, so if I just scroll a little bit down, um, what I can see here, or at least the trends that I saw is generally speaking, most of the miners lost a bit of uh, market share. Uh, the biggest one obviously being LOL miner, and that's where people moved over to other miners for some of these new coins. Now, what you will also see is Mini Z gained a little bit of popularity, and at least to my knowledge, most of the people use Mini Z mainly to mine Flux, and we did see a lot of mining software updates. So it's interesting to see here that the top three, at least the most popular three, is still the most popular three in terms of mining software, and, and that again, LOL, Team Red, and T-Rex Miner. So those are generally speaking the most popular mining software that people are using that's it for this video guys if you've liked the video please like the video and maybe even consider subscribing to the channel if you didn't please specify in the comments what you would like me to change otherwise i'll catch you in the next one cheers